What's good, guys? Woke up this morning at 195.2. So that's a pretty low weigh in for me in terms of like the last week or so. I've literally been dropping at least a pound a day just by eating like 3,300 calories. And I know you might think, oh, that's like hella fast weight loss. Nah, not really. Because, like, like I said earlier, I'm holding on to a shitload of like fluff, water, and whatever, like just bullshit weight. Full day of eating today. Still on 400 carb, 80 fat, 225 protein. Going to get into this now, show you my breakfast, hitting chest and back today, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. So, enjoy the video. <laughs> Alright guys, just woke up, got my way in right here. I'm gonna grab some breakfast, I'm lifting soon, so I'll show you what I have. Alright guys, so we got just over one and a half servings of this Kashi cereal. A banana that's pretty big, I weighed it 230 grams, I'm gonna take the peel off and weigh the peel obviously to get the exact weight. 160 grams of apple, and about a cup of milk. I'll show you the cereal I use, it's actually, right now, this Kashi. But I have a lot of other cereals on hand. I have like Donut Crunch. Um, another Kashi, I think. I have a good amount right now. But yeah, guys, this is around six, seven hundred cal's pre-workout meal. Uh, not too high protein, but a good amount of carbs. So, gonna get this in. This Kashi's pretty damn good. I honestly like enjoy it more than a lot of like the quote-unquote junk cereals out there. But yeah, crush this gallon. Got a bunch more gallons down here, as you see. Gatorades. May or may not have Gatorade pre-workout. But time for the next one. That's the most important pre-workout. Water. Eric the Electric spitting some truth in this video. Solid video, 10 out of 10. All right guys, so I finished like the cereal over here and I got my apple down. I threw that away obviously, but I don't think I'm going to even I don't think I'm going to eat this banana just cuz I'm full. I mean, maybe intro workout, but I just don't really want it right now. So, I'm going to call it at that. Alright guys, what's good? I just ate, got back from lifting, solid ass workout, record a little bit for you guys. Got that bench, 265 for 5 reps, 225 repped it out for 10, wasn't feeling like 100%, wanted to help myself like recover a little bit more, so didn't record the last few sets because I was just dropping down weight, banging out more reps. All in all, great chest and back day. Hit up my post-workout meal, just 3 breadsticks, uh, 1 chicken breast. And it was a chewy ass mother fucking breadstick. I mean, chicken breast. Like it was. It was. Sometimes they're real chewy here, and they're just like hell to eat. So like that's why like tracking macros at school is so easy. Cause like, I'm not gonna go over. Cause I don't like the dining hall food. So like it's easy to just stop eating. <laughs> and um, yeah, like if I was like dieting here like hard, I feel like it'd be pretty easy just because I wouldn't have a desire to eat more of this food. But anyways, had a good salad. That's like one of the good things here. Um, croutons, dressing, 
Raspberry dressing. All right, guys, doing some homework here before class. That's right, Spark Notes. <laughs> I guess you could call this a meal, but I'm gonna get this in as my next snack slash meal, whatever you want to say. 490 calorie protein bar, or 390. Sorry about that. We got 18 fat in here. If you can see these macros, 26 carb, two of which are fiber, 30 protein, eight sugar. I guess other carb, 14. I don't know what other carb is supposed to mean, but different type of carb. It's kind of weird. Anyways, guys, going to eat this up. Supreme protein. Check it out if you haven't. The flavor is actually hella good, so going to crush that. What's good, guys? Just got out of class. Uh, theater class. Pretty solid. <laughs> yeah, I do take a theater. Fine arts requirement. Being fulfilled for a semester, but I'm headed to my probably second to last meal right now. I'm like a little bit more than halfway through my macro, so I'm going to get in, I guess what you call my dinner. I uh, hope it's not too crowded in there, but I'll probably just end up getting chicken, veggies, and a carb source. We'll see what I get when I get in there. Just had dinner. As you can see, I'm out here. It's probably pretty dark, so you can't see much, but... I had that turkey London broil that was pretty solid along with the mashed potatoes and the roasted southern vegetables, I believe they were called. If you're wondering how I track macros for all that, believe it or not, my school, like, in the dining hall, they'll put um, laminated piece of paper in front of all the food and it just shows, like, the macros for everything. Uh, most things, actually. Not, like, desserts and stuff, but, like, most things they have macros for and if they don't, I'll guesstimate, like stuff like salad, I can guesstimate it's not that calorically dense as it is. But um, that's pretty much how I track at school. Believe it or not, it's easy to track at school. Easier than one would think, at least, with the dining hall. So that meal was like under 600 calories, and it was pretty satiating. Final meal, we got two of these Nature Valley bars, seven fat in each of them, because I need some fats today. 150 grams of banana. I'm gonna do two scoops away with two cups of skim milk. And that gives me, if you can see on the phone, my fitness pal has been running hella slow all day long, but I hit 225 protein, 394 carb, 74 fat. So six under on carbs and fat, but that's like negligible, so I don't really give a shit. And uh, that's it, around 3,000 calories, um, pretty much. Dropping water weight and keeping the strength up, which is good progress. So I'm going to call it at that, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you were a fan. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, nick.berg. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.